Uh, obviously, if you're um, a regular user of the TCG court, then you'll know this, but I imagine some people uh, coming to the TCC on, for the first occasion want to know what sort of cases it covers. It's actually a very broad case load. So, for instance, we start with the obvious building and construction disputes and engineering disputes. Then there are two new categories added in this guide, which are energy disputes, uh, in, in, uh, including claims concerning oil and gas pipelines, and uh, public procurement claims, which are not new in the sense that they haven't been dealt with by the TCC previously. They are being dealt with by the TCC, uh, but they're just newly specified in this guide as being as being within the workload of, of the, uh, the court. Uh, I next want to move on to disclosures. I'm assuming the ADR hasn't worked, although I'm not going to say very much about disclosure because the main thing to say is in most TCG cases, the disclosure scheme, uh, which has recently been made permanent in practice direction 57 AD, will govern. And that provides for issues for disclosure uh, to be identified and agreed between the parties, initial dis disclosure to be given with statements of case, and extended to disclosure in, in one of a different uh, number of models to be decided upon by the court and then complied with by the parties. Now, uh, there's an unfortunate reference to this being a disclosure pilot, which it was uh, uh, prior to October 2022, uh, but is no longer a pilot, it's now permanent in the, in the practice direction. Uh, but that's that's just um, a terminological blip. The second case is a, is a less recent one, but also 2022, called Curtis and Zurich Insurance. Now, in this case, the boot was on the other foot because it, it wasn't a trial, but it was pre-trial when one of the parties went along to the court and said, the other side have not complied with the practice direction on witness statements. Here's a schedule of many, many instances where they haven't. Uh, now, the judge found that some of those points were good, but some of them were petty. So he didn't particularly like that and uh, rather took a pragmatic approach to, uh, you know, are you being tactical here? Or are you uh, trying to help the efficient resolution of the case? And I imagine that the answer was really was a bit of both, but he didn't like the fact what he described as being petty. 